Hello, Elements. Some of you have been asking me how I made my trap for the waves, the pumpkin moon, and the frost moon. Today, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. It's nothing too difficult. What you're going to need is, of course, the pig saw. You're going to need some traps from the temple. Of course, you can't get this without the pig saw. Some wire, some tools, and of course, actuators. As well as a one second timer or two, depending upon how you want to set this up. And some platforms. Get out of here, you. Of course, you want to pick your area. Probably make it about the full size of the screen from one edge to the other. Or at least try to mark it off. That way you can go ahead and dig out a small trench. One thing I didn't include just yet, I'll go back and get later, will be buckets of lava. Probably three to four buckets of lava will do as well. And you'll use that as your base. I'll show you how to do it. That way you won't destroy any items that drop in the process. First, we're gonna go ahead and dig our trench. So I'll go ahead and get started with that. We'll announce the winners of our 10,000 subscriber giveaway tomorrow. Thank you so much everybody for that as well as having more Terraria gameplay and Terraria Top 5 videos are coming again as soon as well. Thank you so much for all your support you guys have done. It's highly appreciated. Also, we'll be having another live stream this week, Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 8 p.m. British Summer Time, 9 p.m. Central European Summer Time. All right, so for the most part, we have our trench dog. You can make it however deep you want. You can actually make it a lot deeper than this. It really is up to personal preference, but one thing I'm going to do is slap some little tabs down here of dirt. I'm going to try to break this up as evenly as I can. I know that's going to be a little bit hard to judge from this. Get out of here, you little buggers. But I'm going to try to break this up as evenly as I can, because this is where your four buckets of lava are going to come in handy. Well, three buckets. If you do it right, it should probably only be about three buckets. There we go. Actually, I made that a little bit bigger than I thought. There we go. All right, there we go. And of course, do we need background? No. Oh yeah, listen to that noise. But I'm gonna go ahead and clear this up, and then I'll be back with you in a minute when I have my buckets. All right, so we got our three buckets of lava. That's gonna come in handy. Next, before I start putting lava down, I'm gonna go ahead and put up my traps. So usually I try to put at least a flame trap on a side, as well as a dart trap or two. So in this case over here, I'm probably gonna put two flame traps. Be mindful of which way you place because if you look in one direction, it'll place in that direction you're looking. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and put two flame traps there. And then, we will have a super dart trap right here. And on the other side, we'll do more of the same. I'll switch up the flame traps though. I may have just two flame traps on the bottom. Like so. Oh, wait a minute, didn't want to put that there. As you can see, as I change direction, so did the flame trap go and then our super dart trap of course so now that we have that set up get out of here you little bugger this is where we start placing the lava one little bucket here one little bucket here and one little bucket over here now if we didn't have these little tabs in the dirt there would be a chance that the lava can dissipate we just want enough lava to kill the mobs without burning anything up. So we have that here, clearly. Actually, I think I'm gonna leave these tabs here without taking them down. I'm gonna go ahead and make my platform next. And just go from there on... Actually, hold on. All right, there we go, there's our glass platform. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw some spiky ball traps down here. And I'll show you after what I do after that. All right, there we go. Not exactly the most high-tech ordeal, but at the same time, it does get the job done. Try to spread these out a little bit more. If I had more spiky ball traps, I would try to spread some in the middle. Just to make platforms out and about. There we go. I'm trying to find a nice center balance here. I'm trying to keep everything nice and level so that way one side doesn't get overloaded. You want to keep it nice and even for the most part. I think we can actually make that happen. Remember, we also have other traps, too, here we could use. So it, it all comes up to your creativity and how you feel. We've got more flame traps. Now, of course, these are going to go side to side. We really can't do anything up or down with them. We have spear traps, though. Now, these buggers will actually help. This would be nice if we had another layer here. We can go ahead. Actually, I think I can. And I will just throw these guys out here. Keeping it all balanced for the most part. And, of course, if you want to throw in any extra spiky... Any super dart traps or anything, feel free as always. 
But I think, for me, this is about the highest extent of my creativity. Of course, we have the wiring part coming up next, but we also have the actuators. Actuators are kind of important. There's two ways you could do this. You could have them come on and off, and just have them wired with your one-second timer. Or you just go ahead and say, you know what, I'll get creative. Find a way to wire it so that way you have two switches. One, your one-second trap to activate these guys, or just in general, have a switch and have these all go invisible. So, so you know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that right here. Then I'll just go ahead and wire up these actuators and all, and then we'll go from there. There we go, so now we actually have spiky ball traps that kind of go in the background, so that way you can just pass right through them. That's why you have the platform here, so that way you don't have to worry about walking on these. But, the balls, if they were to bounce back, as you can see, go right through the blocks. Very cool idea, to say the least. And in the meantime, you can see these guys just coming in and out, in and out, in and out. And once you set it up properly, you can just go ahead and turn them off. There we go. And we can go back take all the actuators out of this. So that way now, they don't become solid. They just become traps that are transparent. Very cool. Now with most of that done, we can go ahead and just remove our little dots down here. But first I'm going to go ahead and finish rewiring real quick. Then our trap is set for some wave action. Go ahead and trim that. Whoops. Being a little bit sloppy here today. Make sure everything is wired up properly and good to go for when the craziness commences. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video informative, please be sure to rate it as it helps the channel out greatly and is highly appreciated. If you're a new viewer, please be sure to subscribe for more Terraria Top 5s, gameplays, helpful videos, and more, as well as other gameplays as well. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and if not, then just simply fake it because the day is almost over. I'll see you again next time.